Taming the Wild Beast is a cakewalk in comparison to Taming the Animal Batista. When I looked at the card for tonight, this one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. I think there's a good chance we'll be seeing a painful Batista bomb tonight. Painful would be putting it lightly. Devastating is more accurate. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without weapons. Then you put them in an environment like this, and who knows what you're liable to see. Elbow right to the back of the neck. Oof. He's taking some offense. Hard to argue Michael's point on volatility and the volatility of this match. But what I think oftentimes gets overlooked is the mental anguish that goes along with competing in a match like this. Oh, boo-hoo. Cry me a river, Saxton. These competitors knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they chose this profession. Slam down with authority. We're used to seeing Triple H make history in the ring as a competitor, but what we witnessed in August of 2016 was something totally different. The game appeared out of nowhere during the fatal four-way match to crown a new Universal Champion. In one swift move, Triple H's pedigree on Seth Rollins shifted the balance of power. Using all his power to drive him to the mat. The I trip he's looking for the win. Triple H kicks out of the pen early. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope Ouch. he can do it. Oh, my. oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. I gotta say, watching this match, I'm definitely seeing similarities to the May 2016 Extreme Rules match, where Roman Reigns defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against AJ Styles. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. Takes him down in a major way, too. When it comes to brutality, I would agree with Michael Cole's assessment that this match shares similarities with the 2016 Reign Styles match. Though for me, the biggest story of that night came after the match. I'd agree with that for sure. Absolutely nobody thought they'd see Seth Rollins on that night, especially Roman Reigns. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. Guys, you never know what you're going to see in a match like this. And if you need proof of that, just go back to watch Daniel Bryan versus Kane from Extreme Rules 2014. Look at these two giving it. Whoa! As Corey mentioned, Daniel Bryan versus Kane from 2014 provided scenes we never thought we'd see. Most notably for me was Bryan carrying Kane back to the ring via a forklift. That's right up there, Michael, but let's not forget that was also the match where Kane went through a flaming table.
Real quick reminder, guys, there are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. Oh, and a terrific reversal by Triple H. Hits with the clothesline. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to fire extinguishers. If you can think about it, it's probably under there. And when that's the case, it's not a matter of if you're going to get hurt. It's a matter of how badly you're going to get hurt. Batista turns it around. Bang! Uh-oh, this doesn't look good, Byron. Yeah, this is how people end up getting hurt. When it comes to matches like this, I'd say the more innovative a superstar is when it comes to offense, the better chance they have of victory. Nice job breaking out of that one. But there's plenty more work for him to do here. As Byron mentioned, innovation certainly is a key in a match like this. A competitor can't be adverse to taking action outside the ring. By no means is this your traditional contest. No, it's not, Cole, but at the same time, you still win this match the old-fashioned way by pinfall or submission. How are these superstars even still going, guys? I mean... They have to be on fumes right now. Caught in leg. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Chaos, melee, pandemonium. Oh, he's such a tough target. Triple H doing a great job of turning that around. These athletes seem to have tried everything in their playbook. Oh, there's more in their arsenal, I promise you that. I don't know what it is, but this boy buster! If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. This has been a war. Triple H looking to finish things. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Look out, Irish whip. We may have discovered his favorite move. Look at the eyes of the game. Going for the double play with this move. Triple H. Pedigree. This one is over. Oh, he got him. Let's look at this again. The intensity of this match has been incredible. No luck against Batista there. 
Triple H can't be feeling good right now. This is clearly not the same competitor who started this match in such great shape. We were very close to seeing game over for Triple H right there. Oh boy, he is rolling. No luck against Batista there. And it's Batista with the reversal. Drives him down with the Samoan drop. You gotta believe this one's over. The game getting absolutely punished right there. There it is. It's your favorite move, Saxton. The beast bike. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Wow, he escapes it. He's just got no quit in him here tonight, Cole. You can see the wear and tear that this fight has taken out of these men. Boy, this has just been pandemonium. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. Oh boy, he is rolling. Batista turns it around. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope he can do it. And he goes down hard. The frequency of this move is becoming deliberate at this point, to say the least. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. Oh boy, he is rolling. At what point do those thoughts creep in of, what do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self-doubt. And there it is again. These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? Ah, oh, shin breaker. I can't believe this one's still going on, especially after the beating that's been delivered tonight. He clearly has confidence in that move. At this point, you think he'd have that move well scouted. I understand the idea of being relentless, but I think most would agree repeating a specific move is an unorthodox approach. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. There he goes again. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope he can do it. Well, man, he's going off here. I don't know if this is by design or if he just lost his mind. When this guy's on, look out. Now he's got him here. He's got him up. Sidewalk slam with authority. Boom, running ST. 
RKO. Nicely done. And he hits a vicious neck breaker. Twice as nice. Close line. Triple H looking to end it. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Triple H looking to end it. Pedigree. Game, set, match. This one is over. Boy, these superstars have been through it all here in this Extreme Rules match. There's no denying that the rigors of this spear, incredible! That should do it. You don't perform a move like that unless you're looking to end the match. Uh, going to the top, high risk. Incoming. There's got to be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in that it could be over. And then you got to dig down deep, get rid of the self-doubt, and continue on toward victory. Got the full Nelson. And here, and Batista makes him pay for all that. The game getting absolutely Pretty incredible. Batista connected with a match-ending move. But can he follow up here? Oh, boy. And he fights his way free. He's got to be working on instinct right now, Cole. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. At this point, it looks like even the winner of this match will walk out of here beaten and battered. Here we go again. The repetition on that move is becoming deliberate at this point. Given their performances tonight, it's too bad one of these superstars has to walk out of here on the losing end. What a match this has been, guys, and it's starting to look like these superstars are beginning to feel the effects. Triple H setting it up. Pedigree! That's what he was looking for, Michael. That's right, just keep going. There he goes again. It starts to feel like a broken record with that move. The repetition on that move is becoming deliberate at this point. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. No luck against Batista there. Whoa, Triple H dodged that one. He lands the punch. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys.
unleashing it for the second time now. He's making a statement here with this attack. Give these superstars a ton of credit. I don't know too many competitors who can withstand the amount of punishment that they have here tonight. He's got the shoulders down. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. He's still in this. You know an Extreme Rules match is going to be dangerous going in, but I don't think anybody anticipated it being this dangerous. His clothesline finds the mark. Hey, Triple H! Pedigree! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. He goes for the cover. One, two, and he got a near fall out of it. Wow, that's pure power, guys. Triple H looking to end it. Pedigree. Here's his moment, Michael. That might be the end of Batista tonight. Look at Triple H stalking him. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, and he's taken off his feet. I'll tell you, he can't afford to be horizontal at this point in the match, Cole. Looking to steal one. We've got a cover. One, two. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. And now he goes for it a second time. Second time we're seeing his shoulders are down! Two, three! Unbelievable. This singles match is over. deserves another look, folks. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Triple H has to be happy with that win. That's the kind of win that makes you feel good about yourself. And what an incredible journey it has been to get to this WrestleMania moment. Absolutely amazing.